Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 not only has more robust customization capabilities, but also more declarative customization capabilities than previous versions. In this demonstration, we will illustrate how to modify the user interface to present important data and visualizations. We will add a tab called Account Activity that will have two sections, one to display an opportunity grid and one to display a chart of open customer service cases by priority. To begin, we simply click Customize in the Microsoft Office Fluent ribbon, which is part of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 user interface. From the ribbon in the Account window, we can navigate to the Account form. A two-column tab is now added to the Account form. To display the Opportunity Grid, we need to add a subgrid to the form. We select Entity, Opportunities, Potential Customer. Now we'll change the default view that displays in this subgrid to All Opportunities. We can modify the formatting to have the subgrid span both columns. To access the properties of a section, we must navigate to the Home tab on the ribbon. To clarify the data being added to the form, we can add a label. This section will be labeled Opportunities and displayed on the form. To change the presentation of the tab, we highlight the tab and click Change Properties. To ensure that we present our data logically, we will give the tab the title Account Activity. When formatting the layout of a tab, the column width can be modified. To best present our data, let's increase column 1 to 60%, which will automatically reduce column 2 to 40%. Now we need to add another subgrid to the form to display active cases. We select Case Customer to return case data for this subgrid. Let's change the view to Active Cases so that users can see the customer service activity with this customer. For this subgrid, we want to display the chart Case Mix by Priority. By selecting Show Chart Only, we hide the subgrid. Instead, only the previously selected chart is displayed. The number of rows that the grid consumes can be modified to optimize the viewing experience. To clarify the data being added to the form, we can add a label. This section will be labeled Active Service Cases and displayed on the form. Within the Account Form Designer, we can also create new account fields. In this scenario, we will add a new field to the account form called Inside Sales Rep, which will pull data from the user table. We select the field Lookup. 
and select the record type that will be looked up. We'll select user as the target record type. Once the custom lookup field is created, it is available in the field explorer to be added to the form. This point and click customization has created an N to one, many to one relationship between the account and user tables. To modify the left navigation bar, click navigation in the ribbon. Next, we want to add an end-to-end, many-to-many relationship between the accounts to identify partner relationships. Select account as the entity name. To modify how the entity is displayed, we can select use custom label or use plural name. We'll select Use Custom Label. We'll enter the custom label, Partners, and save all the changes that have been made to the form. Finally, we'll publish the changes to the account form. Here is the updated account form. As we have seen in this demo, it's easy to make declarative customizations to the user interface in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 to help users navigate data and better understand visualizations.